All right, so we got Phil Spencer and the battle for Xbox's soul. So you guys buy IG, and if you guys don't know who Phil Spencer is, he's basically like the head of Xbox, or he's I think his his official position is like the CEO. Um, let's check out IG in this video. Let's go. Uh, for the first time, let me now unveil. I'm also gonna give Xbox. my own like piece at the end of the video as well. Hopefully, it's not like a long rant, but I'm gonna give my my my. Stop take on me this. if you've heard this one before. Xbox stepped on a rake again. For the umpteenth time in the past decade, Microsoft has found itself time. on the wrong end of bad news. And as usual, it's self-inflicted. Just as Team Green was starting to gather some positive momentum, Fallout is the biggest show on TV, boosting all the Fallout games along with it, the upcoming launch of Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, and that may be the very kind of prestige, single-player, narrative-driven, third-person action-adventure that the brand is long I hope lacked. this game is good. It comes out later this, uh, this month. Uh, the next Xbox the hell, showcase was, was also announced for June 9th, where we might finally see the long-anticipated next entry in the Gears of, of War Call series, Duty. Oh. the next entry in Call of Duty, and more. Xbox Brass torched the morale of customers and quite possibly its own developers alike by announcing the closure of three studios, Tango Gameworks, Arcane Austin, and Alpha Dog, right. and the consolidation of a fourth. Oh, Roundhouse. I told you, see? Fans were quick to point back to recent and now hypocritical seeming quotes from Xbox executives, such as marketing boss oh, Hi-Fi Rush was a really good game. saying last year that just axed developer Tango Gameworks' Hi-Fi Rush was, quote, a breakout hit for us and our players in it was, it was. measurements and expectations. We couldn't be happier with what the team at Tango Gameworks delivered with this surprise release. And in the 2021 Xbox documentary, Power On, Sarah Bond said the leadership team asked themselves how to learn from and not repeat the same mistake of acquiring a studio, in this case, original Fable developer Lionhead, only to later shut them down. Yeah, well done. And one year ago, in the wake of Redfall's Redfall. disastrous oh, I feel launch, so bad for that Xbox game. boss Phil Spencer said, quote, one thing I won't do is push against the creative aspirations of our teams. When a team like Rare wants to do Sea of Thieves, when a team like Obsidian wants to do Grounded, when Tango Gameworks wants to do Hi-Fi Rush, when everyone thought they were probably doing The Evil Within 3, I want to give the teams the creative platform to go and push their ability, to push their aspirations. Phil, I love you. Phil, <laughs> Phil, I love you so much. <laughs> Let him rock. I let, we best, let you rock, Those Bill. once reassuring quotes ring hollow today. At worst, they're outright lies. We've come a long way from Xbox <laughs> fans once proudly decreeing in Phil we trust and posting photoshopped Dark Knight esque I believe in Phil Spencer yep. buttons online. Yep. Awfully, Bloomberg reports that Microsoft might not be done making cuts. So this may very well get worse. More? It gets better. They're making more for cuts. Developers, that would mean further job losses, and for gamers, that oh, might Lord. mean oh. another possible Xbox oh, Game Pass ultimate God. price increase. So how did we get here? Why can't Xbox stop tripping over its own two feet? And with I got the a few Xbox suggestions in my head. Growing so massive over the past half decade, they bought Activision. Its reach extending not just to they consoles, got Blizzard. but to any device capable of playing video games. Can the soul of Xbox even be saved? It can. It I can. spoke to two former longtime Xbox employees separately, and both lamented the current state of the brand. One told me prior to this week's awful studio closure news, quote. I had lengthy conversations with a bunch of Xbox founders, and we all came to the same conclusion. It's no longer Xbox, but Microsoft Gaming. Ouch. Ooh. The other chatted with me at Ooh, length that's after a former the Xbox Bethesda employee? bloodbath and believes Xbox is now too big to quickly or easily get its house in order. Quote, there is just too much surface area. You have effectively three huge companies at play and Microsoft never really finished the integration with Bethesda. And Activision is like three times the size Xbox was. They added, quote, Xbox 360 launched with a few hundred people. Last I heard, Xbox is now almost 30,000 30, people. 30,000? And that growth has led to, in the opinion of the Xbox veteran oh I spoke my. to, increased oversight and meddling from further up the Microsoft food chain. Quote, 
The reason this seems so inconsistent with previous Xbox leadership team statements is that these decisions probably aren't being made by Phil. This is all Wait, getting what? dictated by Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella Who and that? Microsoft CFO Amy Hood. Let me shout to y'all, but it all stems from the Activision acquisition. I don't know who they are. Quote. The long-tenured ex Xboxer continued. Quote. The situation Xbox was in when they made this call was much different. They couldn't keep consoles in stock, making money hand over fist with Game Pass growth. The Activision acquisition seemed like a no-brainer. Now, console sales are down, post-COVID recession, yep. Game Pass slowing. Yep. The acquisition was more costly and time-consuming than anyone expected. Tough. And the focus on fighting the FTC probably cost them time they would have spent thinking through the people and studio implications. I 100% believe this is a board level decision. Xbox was a huge profit center, so Satya approved a huge merger. Now games are slowing and yep. Microsoft's stock is skyrocketing. Yep. And there is no way Satya is going to let Xbox drag it down. This is all my opinion, of course, but I'm fairly certain these are not decisions being made only by Xbox. Leadership. Yeah, I don't even, I don't think that either. That's not to absolve Spencer for his role in all of this. Unlike the tone deaf, won't someone think of all the multimillionaire executives response of former Xbox higher up Mike Ibarra. Spencer is, after all, the person in charge of the entire organization. The buck stops with him. The Bethesda and Activision Blizzard acquisitions happened on his watch. As such, he is no more shielded from criticism for being, by most accounts, including my own for the record, a very nice guy than the star he seems like a nice guy. athlete L listen. is for underperforming on the field or court despite regularly signing autographs for kids before games. <laughs> but no matter who's to blame for the weight of Activision Blizzard seemingly tipping Xbox's scales out of balance, it's now fair to wonder if and how Spencer can save Xbox's he, soul. He can, Is Xbox he can, a gaming he can. brand that means anything to gamers anymore? He can save can it. Can it stand toe to toe with Sony and Nintendo? And if the answer to those questions is yes, then what defines they can save it. Xbox? They can save it. Is it Xbox Game Pass? Yes. Is it big exclusive franchises? Yes. Like Halo, yes. Forza, Gears of War, Fable, and yes. maybe should they end up being exclusive, The Elder Scrolls, yes. Fallout, and Doom? Is it gaming anywhere seamlessly through PC, mobile, console, cloud, and handheld support that's invisible to the end no. user? Can it be? all of these it could be should but should it if, be all of these or does xbox then become a jack of all trades master of none after all when you think of either playstation or nintendo you arguably think of one thing and one thing exclusives. alone exclusives consistently incredible exclusive games yep that's it we could have killed you that's it that, it's Maybe not we should have Listen. if the board is pushing xbox in this direction Will Spencer push back? These decisions, no matter who's making them, sorry, are costing one second. Xbox I'm sorry. an incredible amount of both talent and community trust. Spencer knows that, and it's up to him to fix it. To this point, I would have argued that up until this past week, Spencer's 10-year term as head of Xbox could be summed up as such. Gamer-first initiatives like backwards compatibility, accessibility that's i'm gonna talk about that too I, i'm gonna talk about that game too pass. but he has yet to deliver either the single breakthrough blockbuster game that captures the zeitgeist or the steady flow of high quality exclusive games that read loyalty to a platform now though he will likely be remembered primarily by how he handles this moment can he organize a five company monolith he can. xbox bethesda activision blizzard and he, king he can into a single entity that makes both gamers and shareholders happy is that even possible Listen, if it he is. can't the activision blizzard king acquisition may prove to be more trouble than it's worth first of all shout out to ign shout out to that guy i don't even know this guy's name but shout out to him let me give you the rundown and and, and I've been saying this for so long. First of all, everybody was so hyped about. I remember 
I forgot what year was it. Was it 2016, 2017? This is when Xbox came through and they were like, you know, and first of all, before I even go off or whatever, I love Xbox, I love, I love Nintendo, and I love PlayStation, okay? I, I'm not, you know, it, we all can have our favorites or whatever. I'm not judging anybody for having their favorites, but let me just say this real quick, all right? The fact that people were getting so excited because they were like, oh my God, backwards uh, backwards compatibility, great. Oh my God, like, yes, da -da 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 -da, right? Everybody was so like stoked about that, which is, that isn't a problem. It's, I feel like a lot of people relied on that too much because at the end of the day, what PlayStation had, oh my God, listen. What PlayStation and Nintendo have, what Xbox don't, is what this guy just said right here, which I said, like, you know, before him. So I, I guess I was right, right? But I'm sorry about that. I was That was stupid. But listen, literally what I said and what this guy said that was totally true, PlayStation and PlayStation and uh, Nintendo, they, bro, they have hit maker exclusives. Not just hit makers. They have hit maker exclusives. Last of Us. Uh, and let's go on PlayStation. Spider-Man. Last of Us. Uh, Detroit Become Human. Uh, God of War uh uncharted you have all these hit maker blockbuster just like on this type of level of just like exclusives is like unreal and and then you look over at xbox and i'm not listen i'm not trying to throw down nobody but at the end of the day that's literally what it is on xbox you have what forza horizon uh, uh um you have sea of thieves uh, and these are just uh, these are like the exclusives like xbox exclusives that's at the top of my head uh, Forza Horizon, Sea of Thieves. Um, what did she say? What was their last? What was their last like big, huge exclusive? Uh, um, Starfield, Starfield. Um, like what else? Like I don't even like. I'm not trying to sit here and say that Xbox has no games, but when it comes to like the comparison of like Nintendo and and PlayStation, there is no comparison. You you are legit. You don't even have. You don't have enough hits to be in the verses right now. If we were doing like a little rap battle, or whatever, and let's say this is Drake versus uh, Kendrick, and and like a versus, they can go head to head with each other. Like you know, obviously one of them's gonna win, but they can go head to head with each other. If PlayStation and Xbox did like a head to head versus or whatever, and we're pulling out games, and and the audience decides like you know what game is better, I'm sorry, Xbox, you're getting smoked. You are get listen, you're getting smoked. You are get you, listen. I promise you, Xbox, you are getting absolute smoked, and I love Xbox, but guess what? I'm not going to sit here and try to suck up to Xbox and be like, oh, no, what they're doing is fine. No, it's not, because you don't you don't have a hit make. All you need is one. I'm telling you, all you need is one, and Starfield, Starfield, it, it was big. It was hyped up. It was big. Starfield, it wasn't bad, but... You know, was was Starfield more was Starfield better than uh, God of War Ragnarok? No, was 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 Starfield on the same level as uh, as God of War? Uh, I said God of Field. Sorry about that. Uh, God of War Ragnarok? No, it wasn't. So at the end of the day, I'm not saying that Xbox has to. Well, I'm gonna say I'm not saying that Xbox has to create a game that's on the same level. They can they they have to. They kind of have to. They have to create a game. Listen, somebody is. Xbox has to come out with a game that it's on. I'm talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, God of War. Um, 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 um. They, they have to create their own exclusive game that's top notch level. I'm talking about Platinum Taylor Swift level. You ha they have to do that. Because if I'm being honest with you, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know all of the Xbox games. And I was an Xbox kid. You know, I was an Xbox 360 kid. But to any of you Xbox One, you know, um, you know, guys out there, I don't even remember, bro. I can't name more than ten Xbox exclusives on, at, the, at the top of my head. I can't, I can't. I can do it with PlayStation. I can do it with Nintendo, bro. Nintendo. Oh my God! Imagine if Xbox and Nintendo had like little verses, brother. Nintendo would just wipe out Xbox with with Mario. Like it, it's not even like it's not even like it, it's not even funny. Each console, like, each console has their thing. So, like, Nintendo, Mario. They, I, I didn't even have to bring up this, the, the, the Smash Bros. series. I didn't even have to bring up the Zelda series. I didn't, you don't, no. They don't need to, br I don't have to bring those up. If, if I'm Nintendo if, and, and I'm going up against Xbox, you think I need Zelda? 
You think I need Smash Bros? No, no. Guys, sit down. <laughs> Mario got this. I'm, I'm being real. I could just grab Mario from out the back pocket and be like, hey, bro, let me see. Let, let me just, mm, let me... Let me get five games. It's like a five game series. You know, let me get five games real quick. And the Xbox can get five games. And we'll see who has the better games. I'm just being honest with you. Same thing with PlayStation. I can grab five out the bag right now. I can grab five out. The Bro. Bro, I'll grab all the God of War games. I'm, listen, listen. I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't want to be disrespectful. I know everybody has like their own taste in video games, whatever. But I'm being, listen. I'll be real with you. I'll grab the whole God of War series from PlayStation, and, and to go up and, and, and go up against anybody's top five in Xbox, Xbox exclusive. You're not winning. I'm sorry with you. Listen, Xbox, I love you, but at the end of the day, you need you need a you need something that you need a standalone. You need something. You need a a a, a, a haymaker. You need a heavy hitter. PlayStation got Last of Us, Spider Man, uh, uh, God of War. Um, the Uncharted series, they see they have they have hit makers. They have like strong like you. They got heavy heavyweights, basically heavyweights. Nintendo, um, Smash Bros, Zelda, Mario. Those are hit makers. Xbox, you need that. That's what you need. You don't need nothing. You don't need listen. Xbox, you don't need to. You don't need to go out and and, and buy every single um, you know gaming company. What you don't need. To, you don't need to do that. You don't. You need a hit maker. You need something to to like to rock everybody and be like, oh snap! Wait, hold on. I'm trying to play that game. Wait, ho oh dang, that thing is, is only Xbox exclusive. Oh, then I gotta get an Xbox then. I see why you know Xbox. You know, um, I see why Xbox uh, consoles are down because a lot of these games that people want to play are either available on 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 other consoles on PC or whatever. Um, and, and just there's really not any. You know, exclusive like exclusive games popping on Xbox. That's just what it is. That's the facts. If you want to learn, if you want to know facts, that's the facts. I understand that Xbox bought, uh, th that they got uh Activision, that uh, that they got Blizzard, that they got uh Bethesda, that they got all the they got bro. You guys got like hit maker game companies. That's what you, yeah. It, listen, if you want listen, you have heavy hit maker game companies. I'll give you that. Like your pockets are deep, I'll give you that. But that's like okay. For example, Xbox is like the. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys an analogy for Xbox. Xbox is, is like. It's like they bought, yeah. It's like they bought a bunch of land, but they don't know. They don't know what to do with the land. Basically, that's what it is. They bought a bunch of land, and they do not know what to like. They don't know, like, if they want to put a house right there. They don't know if they want to um, sell, like, you know, buy it up and then, like, you know, flip it and sell the land for, like, they don't know what they want to do. They don't, they don't know what to do. They don't know if they want to just build apartments and then, like, you know, sell it that way. They, they don't know what they want to do. So, at the end of the day, yes, it's cool if you have, like, uh, Call of Duty on the side. It's cool if you have, um, okay, my, I'm sorry for disrespect. I'm sorry. Gears of War. Gears of War is, 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 a, is a really good uh, Xbox exclusive. My bad. I'm sorry about that. But at the end of the day, like, all I want is Xbox to have a hit maker. That's all I want. They they have to have, if you want to, not even, I, I don't want to say survive. Like, I don't want to make it seem like they're going to die tomorrow. Like, no, that's, 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 that's ludicrous. But they have to have a heavy hitter. They, they have to. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. Because guess what? PlayStation will not stop. They will not stop having, they, they have, they don't even have to create any new exclusives. They already have like they already have like um they already have like franchises. Like Sony already has like franchises like that that's just for PlayStation. They can just keep going. They don't have to create like a new one just out of thin air. No. Spider Man can keep going. God of War can keep going. Last of Us can keep going. And they can eat off of those three franchises alone. I'm just keeping it real. Same with Nintendo. Bro, do not bro. Oh my God, bro! <laughs> Nintendo can ride on Mario's back for another hundred years. I'm just being—I'm being real. They can create another Smash Bros. game. Oh my God! Let's not forget about Zelda. They can just create another Zelda game. Xbox, you need—you need a uh, listen. You—I'm not trying to be funny, but you need like—you need like a big three. You need like something. 
I, I understand Diablo, that that's strong. Um no Diablo's on is Diablo available on on is Diablo available? I'm I, no. I think it's available on, on PC, right? I, we count it. it. It doesn't matter. We, we gotta count it. We we have to count it. Um Bethesda. Um, um, or what else? Activision, like, like you guys have the tools. It's just, you don't know what to build, which isn't you. you listen, you have the money, you have the time. It's just, I don't know. Like you guys need a, like a golden goose. That's what you need. You need like a golden egg. You need a golden egg. And once you have, listen, you don't need to have like 10, you know, popping games. All you need is one golden egg to just take over. That's all you need is one golden exclusive that you don't need. Like you don't need to buy up 80 different. Like, you know, I mean, if you do like you, if you guys have an idea, whatever, and you need to buy up like certain studios, whatever, and they can help you out with that. Great. You know, it, it, and if a small studio or whatever comes up with a good game, you guys find it, whatever, let them do it. And, and, and that's another thing. Let them do it. Let, let them pop up with these games. You never know which one will hit. Because at the end of the day, bro, I'm seeing Xbox cut off gaming studios like it's crazy. Like, I'm going to be honest. They, bro, they cut four out like it was. Bro, they dropping they, they, they dropping these studios like, like it's like flies. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it's not even. It's scary. <laughs> it's really scary, you know. And, and Xbox, I listen, just know I want you to win. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that like, I'm not like an Xbox. I'm sorry. I'm not like a PlayStation fanboy that's just like, you know what? Um, yeah. uh, I'm not. I'm not in a corner. Like, <laughs> I'm not in the corner laughing and grinning. Like, I actually want you guys to win. Like, I want every. Like, I want everybody to win. But at the end of the day, like, you guys need like a golden goose. That's all. You guys need like a golden game that would just like blow up, and it's only exclusive to Xbox. That's all you guys need. Other than that, man, comment down below, man. What does the Xbox need? What do they need to do? Um, it's not over though. I, I don't think. I don't think it's over. Um, I, I think that it, they just need a golden goose. That's all. Um, and, and to be honest with you, that that's I, that that's all. That's all I can really think of. That's all. I, yeah, because I can't really think of anything that they really need. Um, yeah. So I think they just need a golden goose. That's it. PlayStation already has theirs. Nintendo already has theirs. Xbox is, is your turn because you have the money. You you just need you need that one. All you need is that one. That's all you need, just to get back on, just to get back on par. Because you guys already have Call of Duty. Call of Duty comes out every single year. You guys already have that. People are gonna play the new Call of Duty. We know that. You know, you guys have Bethesda. Like you guys have had the uh, the Fallout series. You guys can, uh, easily take advantage of that. Um, and, and that's going crazy. Like bro, Fallout's going crazy on TV. Like, um, and it's I actually still have to watch that by the way. But yeah, like I, like I know how big it is. Like. You guys can still, like, you know, take advantage of all that. There's no rush here, you know. Um, I think one thing that did, that did, um, like, I wouldn't say mess, mess Xbox up. But um, but what I'll say is I think Blizzard, I think Blizzard did a number on Xbox, I think. Um, coming from, like, I mean, I liked, to be honest with you, I liked Diablo, but then I think Diablo... This is what I think. I think happened. Uh, I think a lot of people didn't like Diablo, especially what was it, Diablo Four. Um, I liked it because I was like a newcomer or whatever, and I liked like the cinematics and stuff like that. But uh, reality, I think that was very underwhelming. Overwatch Two, sadly, was very uh, underwhelming as well. And I gotta be honest with you, it, it, it was. You know, um, I was really excited about the story thing, and then for us to finally get excited and get the game, and and then for you guys to say, oh well, no, um, there's no story coming out. You know, a lot of things, like, are being canceled and stuff like that. People are getting cut off. It's just, like, there's no, there's, there's no, like, there's no, nothing's functioning. There's, there's nothing going. Like, I can see you, if you guys were just putting, putting stuff out, putting stuff out, I, I would respect that. But guess what? In reality, nothing's come. I mean, yes, yeah, cool. You do have uh, Hellblades 2 coming out, uh, what is it, later, later in the month, I think. Um, let's see what that does. But at the end of the day, like, you guys don't have anything that like, you guys are not, like, there's nothing, like, you guys can, like, know, like, whenever you, like, you cook spaghetti and, like, to see if the spaghetti's done, you're, like, you know, taking a few noodles out and throwing them on the wall to see if they stick and, like, to see if, like, if it's, if, if it's done or not. 
there's no there's no noodles on the wall there's 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 no noodles on the wall there's nothing like and so at the end of the day like all i would say is just like okay just like playstation whenever it came to stellar blade stellar blade in my opinion did good um but i think that a lot of maybe this is coming from me but i think that a lot of people expected it to be bigger or what or, or whatnot bro they're still getting stuff out like, try it throw it out you you, you never know it, that could be your golden egg you never know but last time i checked everything is getting canceled and cut off and it, it, it's i don't know i'm praying for it let, let, let's see what xbox does uh especially with this new game hellblades uh too this game was definitely being hyped up for some years now i'm really excited for it you know we'll see how it goes you know I, i'm of course you know i'm gonna be there to see the gameplay and, and cutscenes and stuff like that but uh, we'll definitely see how it is. We'll see if this is Xbox uh, Golden Egg, because uh, last year, you know, Star, I said Star Blade. I was about to say Star Blade. Starfield uh, definitely was a big game. I, I definitely wouldn't say it was a, like a hit maker or anything like that, but it, it was a really big game. And, and and to be honest with you, it, it didn't do too bad for me. Me personally, it didn't do too bad. But other than that, uh, we'll, we'll see how we'll see what what Phil and the, and, and the Xbox goats do. Um, I still love Xbox. I've been an Xbox kid when I was growing up. Um, here's the thing, though. In my opinion, Xbox 360 absolutely owned the PS3. I'm just saying. It, it, you know, it, to all the Xbox you know fans out here that's watching, that's the that's the win that I'll give you because I was an Xbox kid, like diehard Xbox kid back then, and they absolutely smoked PS3. Um, and then, you know, PlayStation, PlayStation 4 came through and just, oh my God, man, they've been, kill, man, they've been killing for, I'm, I'm, listen, I wouldn't say PlayStation been killing Xbox or whatever, but I'm just saying, it just in general, like their own progress, man, PlayStation been killing for 10 years, bro, 10 years straight. I'm, bro, they haven't let up. So, I mean, I respect it. Xbox, let's see if you guys can come back and, uh, comment down below, man. What do you guys think Xbox should do? And, um, yes, you guys have any fingers in my mouth? And...